Day four of the 120th Connecticut Amateur brought the quarter and semifinal matches deciding who will make it to the championship match on Friday. Early in the day, Jackson Roman going up against Dan Gallo. Roman pours in this birdie to take the match to extra holes. On the second playoff hole, Gallo finds some trouble in the greenside bunker. He would go on to concede the hole in the match to Jackson, who would wait to find out who he'd be facing in the semifinals. Back on the 18th, Jansen Vargas trying to extend his match with Ben Carpenter, but the putt just slips by. Carpenter would move on to the semifinals after his first close call of the tournament. The match between Ben Conroy and Chris Ayers would also go the distance, but it was Conroy who would put this putt close enough to clinch his semifinal spot against Ben Carpenter. Rick Dowling, two-time Connecticut Amateur Champion, faced off against Dan Murphy in the quarterfinals. But the match would only go to the 14th hole as Dowling cruises through with the 6-4 win. On to the semifinals where Ben Carpenter would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ben Conroy. It was Carpenter who went up early, he was two up by the third hole. With some short game magic on holes 8 and 9, Carpenter kept the momentum on his side. Conroy made a great effort to stay alive, but his putt on 14 didn't find the bottom of the cup. Carpenter walks away with another 5-4 and four win, this one to secure a spot in the championship match. He reflects on what it took to get him there. Had a few huge flop shots, huge up and downs that sort of caught Ben off guard. The one on eight was really special, might have been one of the best up and downs I've ever had. And I think that really turned the momentum my way. Just hitting my spots, looking not at the, some of these pins are really dicey. So I'm just looking at the middle of the green or below the hole, hitting that spot, either two putting or making a putt while I watch my partner or opponent make a mistake. Oh, I'm super excited. Um, no matter who my opponent is, I just want to go out, have fun, just play my game, go play at my spots again, and just play solid. Just got to have fun. In our second semifinal match, Rick Dowling would take on 32 seed Jackson Roman. Roman would hold the lead for the majority of the front nine, but Dowling, who drove the green here on the ninth hole, would gain some momentum as they made the turn. Fast forward to the 17th hole. Roman has a one-up advantage, but it's Dowling who finds the green and the two-putt par. Roman with a chance for a great par save, watches as this putt slides just past the cup. With that, Dowling takes the hole. It's all tied up as they head up the hill to the 18th tee. Roman ended up right of the fairway and had to deal with some trees in his approach to the green. Dowling eases a drive into the fairway and sets himself up for a birdie putt a chance to win the match. The two-time Connecticut Amateur Champion would sneak this putt in the side door, Dowling fist-pumping his way into yet another championship final. Here's what Dowling had to say after the match. You know, anything can happen, and the pins were tough, and the holes are hard coming in, so just try to hit the golf shots. I played 15 and 16 poorly, but when you missed the green on 17, I just I knew I had an opening, and then pushed it to 18 and hit a good drive and that'll set you up and wedged it close and made the putt. I only played the 36 the first time. The second time was 18. But the first time I did well just trying to have fun and play golf the first 18 and don't get too ahead of yourself. And then the last 12 holes, hopefully it's close um, or whatever the match is at. That's when it really tightens up, play some serious golf. So try to build momentum in that first six holes of the second 18. Each hole is a new match. Kind of plot along, be patient, don't get too high, too low. As you know, anything can happen, and it did. So I'm just happy to move on and see what happens tomorrow. And there is your updated bracket. Ben Carpenter will meet Rick Dowling in the 36-hole championship match of the 120th Connecticut Amateur.